everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today is going to be a little bit different than what uh, I normally do. I normally do reactions, but today I have gotten so sick of the internet just being so negative towards The Little Mermaid. Like, it's to the point now where, like, I'm like, I need to come out and actually defend this movie because everybody's being negative about it. And it's insane to me. Um, it's like, kind of like when it's now like the cool trendy thing to do to hate on this movie. And I'm like, you know what? I feel like I can be the one person out there who's going to defend this movie. So as you can tell in the title below, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I did see it over Memorial Weekend and Spoiler, I actually enjoyed it, unlike apparently the rest of America, apparently. Um, so that is what this video is going to be, a defense of Little Mermaid and why it is not a bad movie and why it's actually better than a lot of people are saying. So before we begin, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to help with the algorithm and help grow the channel is greatly appreciated. If you want to see my reactions to... Uh, movies, television shows. I am reacting to Smallville. I have One Tree Hill, Lucifer, Chuck, Game of Thrones, uh, Marvel shows. Uh, I did Last of Us. There's a lot. I do some movies as well. Um, I just uh, did a reaction to Ant-Man 3. And then um, I'm also going to be doing Into the Spider-Verse with the Spider-Man animated movie soon. So there's a lot of really great um, content over there. Uh, so if you want to support the channel, help support me so I can get more videos out and do this more full time, that'd be greatly appreciated. Or if you want to stay here on YouTube, that's cool. Like I said before, like, comment, and subscribe. So here we go. This is my defense of The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid, the one that everybody loves to hate. Um, so I will be talking about everything in this movie, so everything will be spoiled. If you haven't seen it don't want to be spoiled, then I guess stop watching the video, but I don't want you to, but I'm just letting you know right now. But it was a movie that was made in 1989, so, you know, it is what it is at this point. Um... So I'm not going to sit here and pretend that it was a perfect movie. It was not a perfect movie, but it was a good movie. Like I was watching it. I was into it. It was entertaining. Um, I actually really liked it. I was enjoying myself the entire movie. And um, so, yeah, like I from a pure entertainment standpoint, like it was great. Um and I will be getting into some uh, things I didn't like, but let's talk about, since this is like defense of Little Mermaid, all the positives. Um, first of all, Halle Bailey is a star. She shined in this movie. She was fantastic as Ariel. She incorporated, and you can see she was this innocent girl who just wanted to explore the world and had a curiosity about the world about this about the land and and everything you wanted in Ariel in the original uh animated movie like she was Ariel and it was great and her singing oh my god it was incredible she is a star she stole the show as she should because she is Ariel um, and, and I know there's like all this backlash about because she's, cause she's black and like, you can't have a black, I'm like, why? Like, unless it's like a movie like Mulan or something where it is intrinsic to the story about what race they are, what difference does it make if Ariel is white? Like whatever, it didn't matter. Like I was just like, just have her have red hair. And it was like a blonde red hue I think maybe I would have liked her to have like the fire red but whatever it's a minor thing I'm not really going to complain because she looked gorgeous she was stunning her singing was awesome um and she just she was Ariel it was great um and also Melissa McCarthy she was great as Ursula and the two that needed to carry the movie which is 
Ursula and Ariel, you needed those two to carry the movie, and they absolutely did. Um, Melissa was great at being like the evil Ursula. She had the laugh down the man, like everything was great. I think she had like a little moment where I'm like, mm, this is a Melissa moment. Um, it was um, towards the end when she's trying to become a human and she's like looking for like this potion to become human and she's like, where is it? And then all of a sudden she's like, oh, here it is. I was like, I didn't see Marcella, but whatever. Like, again, one line or one little tiny scene, I'm not going to criticize her for the whole thing for that. Like, that's insane. Um, so that was great. Um, so the two leads that needed to lead the movie led the movie. I'm like, that's what you need. Um, we also had, I loved, actually, I'm one of the few people that actually liked, um, Eric's song. Like, was it the best song? No, but like, I liked it. I liked the depth that they gave Eric and we got to see like more of his character and how he is as a person and his sense of adventure and his longing to explore new worlds, just like Ariel. And you got to see why in the end they want to be together like their kindred spirits and like you didn't get that in the original and that's one of the things I liked about this is that you really got to dive into Eric's character and you got to really develop him and um and I thought that was great like I liked it and like his song was good is beautifully sung his voice is really good obviously not as good as Hallie's she's you can't compete with her but I thought he did a good job I thought he was a good Eric. I thought he had a very good voice. I didn't have any issues with his song. Like, I don't understand why people are hating on his song. Like, it was good. It was a good addition. Um, and I also liked the addition of Ariel's song um, when she gets on land about when you're kind of doing her inner monologue. And so like you get into her head and kind of like what she's going through as she's exploring everything as, uh, for the first time. I enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Um, again, it, it really um, encapsulates just her longing for adventure and her curiosity and her innocence and her just love of finding out new things like you're watching you're like this is so good I loved seeing and 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 hearing her inner thoughts and her inner monologue of going into this new world which I thought was great um I also really liked the chemistry between Ariel and um and Eric, I thought it was palpable. Like, it was really, really good, really strong. You can see why they're attracted to each other. Like, him going through, like, the maps and, like, explaining, like, the world and things like that and explaining their town. And it was so good. And, like, them running through the town, I thought it was really cute. I loved, 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 loved the scene that was, like, right before uh, Kiss the Girl and um of her trying to explain her name and she literally just like looked at the stars and like Aries is in the stars so she like did this thing where um when he said Aries he's like she put her like finger to his lips and said Ariel Ariel that was just like it was adorable and it was cute and it was innocent and it was just like you know what this is great this is magic and the way I think his name is Jonah the one who played Eric the way he looked at Ariel you could see like his love for her you can feel it and you can see it in his eyes and it was great and the way it was acted was phenomenal and you're like I can see why Eric loves Ariel and you can see why Ariel would love Eric as well like it was so good they have such kindred spirits I loved the a little um you know the the little thing about how they both like like to collect things that they go out on adventures with that's good. I thought it was cute. Like, you get to see their kindred spirits. And, like, I, I loved it. Like, I thought, honestly, the best part of the movie, to be honest, was when she got on land. The last, last half of the movie, I thought, honestly, I thought that was better than the first half. Um, especially when it came to when she got on land. Um, it was great. I really liked it. Uh, I thought it just went up another notch. Um, also when Ursula became human, I think her name is Vanessa. 
uh, the actress, she was on like three minutes on screen, but oh my God, she was a great human Ursula. Like she went for it and it worked. And like, she was full on evil Ursula and everything about it. I just ate it up. Oh my God. She just went for it and it worked for me. Um, and also the songs were great. Um, some of them were better than others, but I really enjoyed the songs. Um, I thought Hallie's rendition of Part of Your World was the one song that either matched or surpassed the original. Um, I thought her rendition of Part of Your World was spectacular. I got chills when when she was singing and she hit those notes and everything and you can see her longing for the world like it was so beautiful her voice is amazing and when she did the reprise and she's on the rock and she like hits that note part of your world like i can't say but like and you get the way behind her like that iconic shot from the animated movie um was perfect i got chills watching this in theaters and I was like, this is amazing. Um, so, like, all of this, like, and I thought, and uh, as far as the animation, it was pretty decent. It was pretty good. Like, was it perfect? No. Like, I'll get more into that and in, into the negatives coming up here in a second. But, like, like, I didn't think it was bad. It didn't bother me. Like, it bothered a lot of people I'm finding here uh, on YouTube. And a lot of YouTube reviewers are like, oh, the animation was awful. I'm like, well, you try. Like, first of all, all of the facial expressions and everything that they had in the original, it's because they're animated. Like, I don't, you're not going to get it because this is, like, the real version. So, like, the real life version. They're going to make it more realistic. You're not, yes, you're going to get more expressive. And you're going to get all the cartooniness of these. That Yes, it's very appealing when it's animated. And, yes, it works when it's animated. But, like, you're, like, why are people surprised when Flounder doesn't have these big old eyes that are going every, like, I don't, you're not going to get it. Like, Calm down. You knew this going into like the Lion King, which was not good, by the way. Um, but like, I thought they did fine. Like, it didn't bug me. Flounder at first was a little like, oh God. But like, I got used to it very quickly and it didn't bother me. And also they didn't use him too much. So, so like, I was like, what's the big deal? You had the trio of uh, Sebastian, Scuttle and Flounder. And you didn't use, like, you used Sebastian a lot. And I thought his animation was pretty good. Like, honestly, his, I had no problem with. Um, Flounder, you didn't use him that much. So, like, it didn't matter to me that, like, he was fine. I don't, like, you didn't use him too much. If he was in a lot of the movie, it would probably be different. But they used him, like, this a little bit. And um, Scuttle was fine. I mean, it was a bird. Like, that's what a bird does. Like, I don't I don't know what you want. Um, and I'm also seeing a lot of people who are like, um, oh, it was shot for shot, like the original. And I'm like, yeah, that's the point. Like, that's what we're here for. Like, I want to see this movie that I loved as a child and I want to experience it in a new way. This is what it is. This is what this movie is. Like, what? why are you surprised and you hate on it for when it goes by the movie? Like, some of the iconic shots. They had um, the one on the rock with the waves. They had the one where the hair flip when she becomes a human. They had that shot. They had the shot of in part of your world where her hand is reaching towards the sky. Like you had those. Like those are the iconic shots I wanted, and I got them. Like it, it is like I don't know. Um, but then people are also criticizing because um, they changed too much, and it wasn't the original. So I'm like, honestly, making these movies, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't, and it's insane to me um now i will get into some of the negatives because like i said before it wasn't a perfect movie um and i will go along with a lot of people scuttlebutt 
not good. I did not care for that at all. I thought it was stupid. I thought it was pointless. Um, I understand the point of they were trying to like deliver the news that Eric was, you know, going to propose, and it turned out to be um, Ursula who was like seducing him or whatever. But like, it was not good. And I love Lin Manuel, Lin Manuel Miranda. Um, he's great. Um, I love Hamilton and everything. Um, I actually got to meet him one time and he was like the nicest guy ever. Like you wouldn't have thought he was this famous guy. Um, but this did not work. No, uh, I'm with a lot of people on the scuttle, but it was like, no, it, no. Um, and I felt like also if they would have used Aquafina more, I would have gotten more annoyed. But like people are like, she was an annoying character. I'm like, so was Scuttle in the animated one. Like, this is this character. They're annoying, like, for a reason. Like, this is who this character is. Why are we, like, bashing Aquafina for kind of being annoying? Like, this is the character. <laughs> Hello? What, what are we doing? Um... I also thought, I can't remember the actor, but whoever played Triton, I thought he was flat, to be honest. Um, I didn't get when he was angry with, with Ariel about going to the world and things like that, or going up to the surface, and him, like, I didn't get his journeyed anger to destroy all of her stuff. I was like, what? Um... So he was flat. I'll, I'll, I'll admit that. Um, I wasn't really into his performance as Triton. Um, and some of the songs, so like I said, I thought Part of Your World was the only one that really lived up to it because all the others, um, like let's go Under the Sea, it was iconic in the animated one. And it's very, very hard to replicate that. And yes, I did miss all of the animals who were playing all the instruments and things like that. I missed that. But it was fun. It was vibrant. It had the spirit of it. I don't think it was as good. But it wasn't bad either. Like everyone's like, oh, just because it didn't match the original or surpass the original that it was bad. It wasn't bad. Like, I think people are, um, just not making this distinction that it might not be as good, but that doesn't, just because it's not as good doesn't mean it's bad. I was very entertained. I love that Ariel ended up joining in and singing. That was fun. It had the vibrancy. It had all the different animals and everything else. Um, I, I mean, it was fun. It, like I said, it, it was not as good as the original, but that's fine. Like it worked for, for me anyway. Like it, it, like it wasn't bad. Like, um, and same, I had that same opinion with poor unfortunate soul. Oh my God. Honestly, poor unfortunate soul is my favorite villain song of any of the original animated movies. I'm putting that out there. I freaking love Poor Unfortunate Soul. So this one with Melissa, it was not as good. But it was pretty decent. And Melissa, again, she was Ursula and she had the mannerisms and she had the evilness and she had this manipulation of Ariel that the original had. And you're like, okay, it might not be sung as well. I've heard a lot better renditions of this song and a lot better covers, but it wasn't bad either. Like it wasn't horrendous. Um, So I'm just like, so those, so those are the two that I feel like a lot of people are bashing on and just because they weren't as good as the original doesn't make them bad guys. Like, let's be real. It doesn't make them bad. It just means that it might not be as great. It's fine. 
Like, it's very hard to replace three iconic songs. Um, you got one out of three for, in my opinion, for making it as good or better. Um, but so that that's kind of the thing about about those songs is I know I'm repeating myself but it's the same thing it's the same thing they're good they weren't great they uh did not surpass or make or were better than the originals but I still enjoyed them they weren't bad I wasn't cringing while I was watching it I was like these are good it works it does um other things that I uh, changes I did not like. I did not like that Ariel was the one that saved Eric. Um, I really liked when it was Eric that, that saved Ariel. Um, just because, like, when it just it doesn't give um, Triton a reason to change his mind about humans if it was Ariel that saved Eric. I think if you changed it back to the original, I think that worked better. Um, so I didn't like that change. Um, I also, um, I the, honestly, the most disappointing part of this for me was no dress scene. I was, that was the one thing that got me super upset. Nothing else really got me super upset, to be honest, except for Scuttlebutt. The, the dressing, though, when she's coming out of the water and the sparkly dress is an epic moment while he's on the beach. Like, I wanted this epic moment of her revealing that she's a human again and she's here and she's back. And it, it, it fell flat. I'm not going to lie. That fell flat. Um, because, like, she literally just, like, is standing next to Max, the dog. I'm like, that's it? That's the big reveal that she's back and she's just petting the dog. Like, she's just there. And it's very similar dress that she had before. Like, no, I wanted the big sparkly dress and the big dramatic moments. Like, that's what I wanted. And you didn't give it to me. Like, that's the one thing um, I was very upset about. Um, also, we didn't have the cook, which was honestly, though... It was fine. Like, I didn't miss it. I mean, the movie is already two hours long. It would have added more. And it was just, it was unnecessary, to be honest. Um, in this version, I thought it was unnecessary. So I was fine with it. Um, but yeah, but like, like I said, like majority of the movie was very entertaining. It was very good. I did not think it was flat. Like, I thought... The acting was pretty good, um, especially when um, Ariel was on Earth and all she had to use was her facial expressions. Like, that's hard to do. Um, I thought the animation was pretty decent. Um, anytime, like, any sort, uh, anytime they're, like, on the surface of the water, it looked really realistic. Like, the way they did the shipwreck was incredible. And I know it's a tiny moment that no one mentions, um, and it, it really shouldn't be mentioned, like, but I just love this tiny moment where after Eric throws, like, the boat's on fire, and Eric throws Max, the dog, overboard. It's just this tiny little moment when the dog is getting close to the boat, and Ariel just, like, reaches up and kind of helps Max a little bit, just like, I'm just gonna push you over here. Like, I don't know. I know it's a small moment, but I really liked it. Um, I thought it was cute. Like I said, it's not really worth mentioning, but like, I liked it. It's a small, small moment that was, that was very cute. Um, but it was very well done. I thought the climax of the movie with Ursula becoming giant was very well done. Um, like I said, the two things that really were my big complaints about this movie was the switch that Ariel saved Eric and there was no dress scene. Other than that, I really don't have an issue with this movie. Um, I thought it was... It it had the same spirit as the original animated one. It really... Um, Hallie was great as, as Ariel. She... Like, the singing was fantastic. The acting was pretty good. Um, like, the sea, especially, like, was... 
was vibrant and colorful and um even even the shark at the very beginning that was very scary like i'm sitting here like this looks very real like like um yeah like i don't outside of you know the three issues with scuttlebutt i thought i'll agree was bad um and the other two I just mentioned, like, other than that, like, I don't get all the hate and complaint about this movie. Like, the singing was fantastic. The acting was good. The animation was pretty, was pretty good. Um, and they didn't use Flounder enough for me to get annoyed by it. Like, he wasn't that much in the original anyway, if you really watch it. Like, he's kind of there. Um, I know he's really in the beginning and really helping out at the end. But, like, in the middle, he's not really there too much. He's, like, I don't... Um, I mean, Kiss the Girl, I thought, I thought was pretty good too. Like, I, I, I don't know, like, honestly, what do you guys want? You want, you, what you want is the animated movie again. And you're not going to get it because this is a live action. Let me repeat. This is live action action is going to be realistic so you're not going to get all the facial expressions that you're going to get i thought it still had the spirit it had the energy i thought the songs were still very good like i'm that's where i'm stuck as to what is with all this negative bashing towards this movie i don't understand i don't think i will ever understand um and honestly i just think people are hating just to hate um and also the blatant, like, hatred just because, like, Hallie's a black woman. I'm like, so? And also, like, I'm seeing people are upset that they didn't address, like, slavery and stuff. And that was, I'm like, that wasn't even in the original. <laughs> like, when was slavery part of the original movie anyway? I, what? I don't, why is this even necessary to bring in here? Um... And I did like the message. I mean, I, I am getting a little bit tired of like all these movies, like this is big bold message um, coming out. This one is good because it was good, but it wasn't like in your face every single scene like some of these animated movies are. Um, but this one, you know, about, you know, how just because you met a few bad apples from a certain race or a certain nationality that all of them are like that. Like, I liked that, them talking about it, how, you know, um, Triton doesn't like people of the, um, people of Land because they killed his wife, uh, which, you know, that's, um, not acceptable, but, like, I, I can understand why you would hate him, but I liked Ariel's, like, just because, like, not all humans are bad. Like, I, I do like that dynamic that they had in this movie. Um, like I said, all in all, I really enjoyed this movie. So, um, I want to go see it again. I've, um, I actually would really like to see it in theaters again uh, before it comes out streaming. We'll see. I probably don't have time to do it, but we'll see. Um, so, yeah, I... This movie, I thought, was really good. It's probably the best live action I have seen them do. I thought this was the best job of embodying the essence of the animated movie. Um, which isn't really saying a lot because they, they typically don't do very well on these. But it was the best of the bad. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, have enjoyed my defense of this movie. Um, so all in all, I'm going to say 8 out of 10. Like, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good movie. I want to see it again. I thought the songs were really good. The animation was was, was pretty good. Um, Hallie's a star. Melissa was great. Like, I don't know what else you people want, to be honest. I'm just like, I don't, I, I don't get it. Um, but yeah, so that was my defense of the little mermaid. Let me know in the comments, whether you agree with me or disagree with me. Like that's fine. If you disagree with me, I just thought one person on the internet 
<laughs> and on YouTube <laughs> actually defends this movie. So um, let me know what you guys thought about this movie uh, in the comments below. And please be sure to check out my channel. Please subscribe. And also be sure to check out my Patreon page. Link is in the description below um, where you can see my full length reactions to shows and movies and a whole lot of good stuff. So yeah, look forward to having this conversation. And uh, hopefully I will see you over on Patreon or in my other videos. Have a good day, guys.